So, welcome. This is the energy vibration reading for the Virgo Sun, Moon, and Rising for um, the month of November. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is going to be a wonderful, positive month, and um, this month is going to be an Earth Energy month. So, it's going to be a good month for um, you, Virgos. So, what is happening here? I want to thank each and every person. For being here for um, supporting my channel I'm so sorry the last time my readings are way behind because I work a full-time job and I do this also and I'm going through the process of moving and a lot of stuff is happening so my apologies um, for the people who have asked for reading and I am taking longer than normal um, the month of November is going to be one of uh, changes a lot of changes but good changes a lot of possibilities a lot of happiness a lot of joy this is going to be good for you Virgos okay so let's look at the month the month is the energy of the world the world is an ending and a new beginning and it's a very good month for you Virgos whatever decision you decide to make it's going to be a very very good month as we look forward and we go forward and we're looking at this month we're going to see very positive energies coming out first week we have the energy of destiny destined is what you were destined to be your life purpose what um, the way you should um, move in and that sort of a thing so this is going to be good as we move forward and we look at the second week it's going to be um, the energy of uh, um, whatever that was injustice uh, um, in whatever situation it's going to be balanced out in the middle of the week, month we have a water energy and this water energy is going to be with someone who is uh, of uh, the the um, someone who's um, an hair sign person so um, that's going to be um, conflicts and you know um, conversation but yes so conflicts uh, uh, this person is going to want to you know like press his horn and that sort of a thing okay so as I look at your week let's see what are the numbers for you guys there's not a number of numbers it's a lot of new beginning um, we have uh, um, justice so we have the mother of cups which is uh, um, and we have the hermit um, in the last week and um, the hermit is um, this is going to be a new beginning for a lot of people we have a double whammy because uh, um, my angels and guides seems to be surprising all my readers with all these double whammy that means um, there is two things coming up okay we have a seven there and we have a six so we have a six so six the materialistic world is going to be here um, six um, three and three three and six we have a nine and we have uh, um, so the six says is going three and the six is going to take place so what is happening for you um virgos out there is uh, uh, very good it's uh, very positive because whatever is happening for you guys you're going to see that there's a new beginning coming in there's a lot of luck because we have the wheel of fortune and we have the energy of luck and let's move forward so you have the three and the number six okay first week um, it's destiny so it's karmatic lessons uh, situations like that but this is good because uh, what is happening is that the universe is helping you to move you to where you should be in your life and this is going to be wonderful this is going to be positive because when the universe open up the door and move us through to the destiny to what we were destined for then you are going to see the wheel of fortune came twice because destiny is also the wheel of fortune and we have the energy of luck so this is a short time luck so in this first week a lot of you guys are going to be extremely lucky when the energy of um, the wheel of fortune and luck comes um, I mean the universe is going to um, deliver a lot of stuff that you have been dreaming for I know some of you have stopped dreaming but keep on dreaming because the universe in the first week this is going to be one of your best and the most luckiest week because you have twice the wheel of fortune and uh, the energy the clover clover is always lucky um, so 
And this is uh, so wonderful, okay? As we look at the second week, we have an air week, and with this air week, um, we have the energy of justice, whatever that you have to deal with in a legal situation, whatever that was unjust to you, whatever people have done to unjustify situations around you there is going to be a balance it's as if um, the car the wheel of karma and the um, angel of karma came in and stand in with your angels and guide and heal whatever the karmatic situation was so whenever that is ill in the spirit world it can it comes down through the hurt form of justice and this is also balance so some people will have justice if you have a legal situation or conflicts with other people and some people um, this justice if you had a situation an unjust situation where money was taken away from you and things were taken away from you that wasn't for other people this is going to be returned to you and this is going to be extremely good because what is going to happen is that um, whatever that was taken from you and especially um, if you have a house and that was taken from you or something that was willed to you or was left to you and it was taken it's going to be returned to you this is a good sign and here you are for some people who it is in um, materialistic form as an house or something or um, you know um, maybe your parents left you um, stuff or someone else your grandmother whoever that has left you stuff and you did not receive it whether in the materialistic form of uh, houses uh, or monetary it's going to be returned to you justice has stepped in and they are going to make sure that the balance comes in and this is good sometimes you just have to ask the universe um, to help you and this is going to be a wonderful week for you Virgos the second week so you know this can also be promotions for a lot of people this can be if you had situation with uh, um, um, a company that you worked with or if someone hadn't paid you or um, you know whatever it is that has to do with money you are going to realize that this money is going to be returned to you whatever um, it can be something and I'm I'm getting the this as a house um, stuffs um, jewelry um, a car I'm seeing a lot of people there is stuff that people didn't know that they have and this is returning to you thank the universe say I thank you universe if you don't believe in angels believe in the guides I always say I thank you so much to my angels and guide sometimes I forget and sometimes I'm like you know I'm so grateful for this or whenever anyone do anything I think it's so nice to say thank you because the more you say thank you is the more you receive blessings and people are not aware of that so you know say thanks to the universe for whatever is being returned to you and tell them how much you are grateful for this okay if you are having problems in the second week with um, financial help or so it is good to do the um, who uh, who won um, prize and that is when you write down your wishes and dreams and you will say them on um, for seven days then seven days then seven days then seven days okay the third week is a week where um, there is going to be um, sacrifice you're going to sacrifice something in the third week a lot of you are going to let go of a relationship with someone who is an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra in the third week you are going to release yourself of a relationship um, with someone who is an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra and this could be um, a son your son who carries this trait or someone around you but you are going to be releasing this person from you and the situation from you and this is the son so it can be someone um, 18 to 20 20 to 25 25 to 30 35 um, to 40 maybe 
but whatever this situation was you're releasing it because you're sacrificing the situation and you're finding the inner strength to just put a stop to it and say um, you know I am releasing this whatever it is it can be a person it can be a situation it can be a place it can be um, something that happened a very long time ago it can be healing your emotion healing your pain releasing because whatsoever happened in the two first week you're going to realize that it is time to let it go and you're going to find the inner strength to forgive people and let go whatever has happened as we move on um, we have in the fourth week um, a transformation so there is going to be changes coming in I see a lot of changes for people people will be um, looking for new work people will be looking for extra work people will be wanting to connect to other people um, there are so many things but I see a lot of people changing work a lot of people changing careers um, relationships are going to be there we have the energy of uh, the Queen of Cups the mother of cups is the energy of the queens of cups and what this is doing is that this is someone who is a Pisces a cancer or a um, scorpion and uh, there is a transformation in the relationship between you and this person whatever the situation is uh, no and this person is not living close to you this person is overseas so um, think about um, it doesn't have to be it can be in another state because I'm um, we have a lot of states here so it could be someone who is living in another state whatever the relationship has been with this person um, there you know it's going to be a healing and a transformation so it could be that there is someone who you had a difference of agreement with or a difference of um, whatever conflicts with that it is going to be changed and heal once and for all okay so see this month as a month of healing but it's a month for you guys of positive positive energies okay so um, whatever the situation is and with whoever this person is uh, um, there is really going to be a transformation coming in it is actually a good good sign as we look at the fourth week I have the energy of patient and the energy of patient is saying that this fourth week you need to be aware of what is happening around you but yet still have patience with other people and other things and the energy of uh, the hermit comes in because what the hermit is saying is that go within be still and go within call upon your angels and guide and um, they're going to help you to find a new beginning in yourself whatever the situation is that you're also having with a child at this moment you need to find um, inner you need to find the inner strength um, in a wisdom to deal with whatever the situation is okay you need to find inner wisdom in dealing with whatever the situation is so if I look at your month it's going to be the two first weeks it's going to be actually your best best week and um, this is also um, very good because what is happening and I'm, I've changed up the reading a lot because there's so many information that I like to give in the, the monthly readings because I think that the month readings are very important a lot of you are going to be dealing with which is a very good a lot of people will be dealing with organization whatever the situation is in organization um, there is going to be um, people um, groups of people or maybe you're connecting in um, with groups of people this is going to be good because these people are going to be there for you these people is as if uh, um, it's your uh, soul family and they're going to be connected with you um, some people it will be for a long time and some people it won't be but it doesn't really matter what is the most important thing is that you are um, accepting the help from whoever these group of people are okay um, as I look 
um, and see the the the, the energy of <clears throat> um, your luck coming in I'm sorry I've had I've been having the flu and my voice keep on going but I need to do um, also the weekly reading so um, okay as I look at the second message that some of you guys and angels are sending in is that whatever the situation is for a lot of you um, if you have a business there's going to be business growth if you have financial uh, you're going to some people are going to have financial increase promotion at their work and some people are going to be very lucky with money so in the first and second week by the lottery it is your most luckiest week you Virgos out there the first and the second week because you have five weeks in the month of November first and second week is going to be one of your most luckiest week okay as we are looking forward to see what other messages that the angels and guides of uh, blessed us with and uh, um, it's, it's a lot over financial your financial situation um, if you have a restaurant and if you're planning to do a restaurant uh, um, seafood and I'm, I'm seeing the energy of uh, um, seafood is going to be one of those uh, um, whatever your financial situation was with or wasn't stability is going to come in your financial a lot of people are going to end up with unexpected money it is not the energy of uh, air finesse it could be the energy of air finesse because I'm not using those cards I'm using the question cards but there is going to be um, changes for you in a lot of wonderful ways good positive changes are coming for you in a lot of wonderful ways okay okay as we look at the energy for um, positive energy, um, um, personal, your personal finance, your boss, and that sort of a thing. And for a lot of people, you're going to be connecting with someone who is very good, who is going to, um, who's going to help you. Some of you are going to be planning trips. Be careful because this trip can be very expensive. Some of you are going to do it international investments. Okay. Some of you are going to be investing internationally. So with the money that you're going to receive, because between the first week and the second week, uh, there a lot of people are going to be exchanging the hands of money, and this is going to be very good. Please remember to use it to help people and always give away some. Um, you can just you know buy things and give it to people if you don't want to give them the money, but really, um, you know, share whenever you share and whenever you give, you will receive the blessings that is coming back because um, I have one of the most um, examples that I can give to you um, it was when the hurricane um, the other day some of you are going to have a new start um, some of you are going to have a new start in business some of you are going to um, have um, children born in abroad okay children born in abroad so um, it can be that you're pregnant and you're going on a vacation and your child is going to be born abroad um, uh, it is now change from my time because um, and now you can't travel within when you're uh, pregnant and within certain months maybe you're just flying to another city and it's going to happen okay whatever um, this sort of a situation is is going to be positive so let's look I have other messages here um, dissipation uh, perfect perfectionist and creation dissipation perfectionist and creation and you have enlightenment as uh, so I change up my reading I always do that um okay let's look at this and let's understand it dissipation is when you are in between worlds and you're not aware you're not sure what you need to do so you sit and you're contemplating so what is happening is that you guys are really sitting and contemplating what should I do next and you will receive the answer perfectionists most earth people are perfectionists um, 
um, we like um, things orderly things and we like to do things um, in a perfect way and perfection is not always a good and it's not always bad a lot of you are going to start creating creation is very very important whatever you're doing um, try to find time to think of creative things that you can do in your life okay now I'm moving on to the zodiac because I realized that I have been going on and on and on and on and I have to do the zodiac so we're going to look at the Sun moon and rising people because this is uh, the monthly reading so let's see what we have for the Sun people the Sun of Virgo people let's see what we have um, Jupiter the planet of luck and we have the Capricorns who's going to connect with um, you um, Taurus is let's look at the night people the Sagittarius which is which is another lucky planet to be working with you and um, wow oh this is good okay let's look at this because this is very positive for you guys and let me get this in for the Sun people the Sun people we have Jupiter the planet of Jupiter the lucky planet coming in together with the Capricorns this is going to be perfect because you are going to make magic this is why the money luck and money is in your sector especially for you people who were born um, between the hours of 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. and then we have the Capricorns and the Aquarians that are coming in and these two are very psychic people so they're going to they work with the spirit world they work with the spirit realm so they're going to teach you how to open up and to connect so that you can be very lucky your lucky star is opening up because the first two weeks is the most luckiest this, these are good readings um, this is really luck for you um, Virgos as we look at the um, moon people and the moon people are the people who are born after 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. And what we have here is that we have the Sagittarius, which is very good. Sagittarius and the Virgos can um, go to get a very well. You know, you can have good relationships. Or, and then we have Saturnus, and Saturnus is going to um, create havoc in your life because Saturnus wants you to find your true north. So um, if you are not capable of working with him, you have to stand up and stand firm because he's about to, um, you know, get in your life and he's going to create a vehicle. We have the Taurus that is going to come up and work with you guys, and this is going to be very good. This is going to be wonderful because a Taurus and a Virgos um, or a hurt sign, and you people can't. Um, are compatible with each other not to marry but compatible with each other but you can get married I mean is it gonna last um, it can but it, it don't it doesn't always last okay but it's very compatible so this is gonna be very good for you guys so I want to say to each and every person out there it is you know keep positive keep positive because we have the energy of the vortex I'm going to be working with the energy of the vortex it's very important to work with the energies of the vortex because we all live in our own vortex it's the energy vibration that we give off is uh, the vortex is uh, the energy that is around us so now let's see what you Virgos are going to be receiving for this vortex and it says the universe the universe law of uh, attraction is managing my expansion the law of attraction in the universe manage all vibrational which expands to everything that exists through the universe and so at the same time that the law of attraction is responding to the universe uh, universal uh, um, vibration connect uh, of your physical beam through it it is also responding to the vibrational content of your inner being okay so remember that you have to think positive if you uh, realize that you're attracting on attracted thing and things that you wish you hadn't attract you have to change your energy vibration of this okay so ladies and gentlemen I want to say thank you for being here and I'm wishing you a wonderful month namaste